Good morning. It is uh, 11.22 in the morning, June 20th, 2016. Mark Wilson here. Uh, I'm here at the Fan Cave, and uh, what I have is a decent haul from Todd Farm the other day. Um, have a uh, have an old uh, Hunter. I don't even know if this is considered a desk fan or a table fan, but it's uh, you know a nice old uh, you know cord's been replaced, obviously, which is fine. I'm actually thinking about using this in my bedroom, fixing it up a little bit, and uh, but um, got the Hunter. Have a uh, see. These are a few from a previous uh, few fans from. Previous jaunts out there. Uh, have an old uh, GE box fan, a twin box fan. And miraculously, all of these fans actually do work. Um, little Westinghouse uh, desk fan. This is called an A.C. Gilbert. I've never heard of it before, but they're out of uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Now, I just pulled them out of the trunk of my car, so they're not clean or anything. I just, I've plugged them in, you know, long enough to check them out uh, to make sure they work. Uh, a penguin covered in hair. Looks like it was, uh, must have been in a pet store. Or, I don't know, maybe they own a lot of cats or something. But anyway, uh, a little Dominion. Now the Dominion is noisy, um, and it it has this weird. Uh, uh, it alternates from spinning fine, then making this weird noise and going really slowly. And so I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna have to delve into this one a little deeper. But uh, as of now, I'm just like I said, I'm in the preliminary stages uh, of checking out what I've got. Now the Hunter. Let's turn that on. I guess I have to figure out how to use it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah. Man, this thing is intent to hit the microwave. Well, it's quite a sweep it has. It really moves from, uh, one side to the other there. Leave it there so I can get a breeze. Got the uh, twin uh, box fan. Got blow. Medium. Now, of course, all of these old antique fans just move a ton of air. And for those of you interested, it's a GE Automatic, it's called. Alright, now on to the rest of the fans. I'm actually going to shut off the... Uh... Oh, and this is a... What's this thing here? It's a 
temperature setting or auto thermostat. Shut it off. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm gonna shut you off and mount the camera on top of the fan. So you can see the before fans in action. Now like I said this here uh, this Dominion is uh, a little bit uh, shaky, so I'm probably gonna have to unplug that. The cord was broken, I had to splice a new cord on. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to unplug this Dominion, so as you can hear, it's making all kinds of funny sounds. So, you're going to go have quiet time for a while. Now, the other three, and the Gilbert dances, as you can tell. Penguin's a uh, three-speed. The oscillating button's spinning, but it's not spinning, so let's see what happens if I do this. Nothing. Oh well. Now this one here, and you pull a lever up, it stays stationary. And you push it down, it oscillates. Post oscillate. Oh well. I never use the oscillation setting anyway, so uh, yes, there you have it. Got the Dominion, the Penguin, the AC Gilbert, and the Westinghouse. Now the Westinghouse is cool. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna uh, redo that one, paint it all black, and then paint the blades uh, gold or brass or whatever. And uh, this thing here, I actually, <laughs> there, this is the bottom to a table, um, and uh, they were throwing it out at work. For those of you who don't know, I'm a night baker, and uh, you know, at a restaurant, and they have. Uh, uh, yeah, they were throwing this out, and I figured, I don't know if I'm going to turn it into a fan or what I'm going to do, but I don't know, it kind of looked like a fan, so I took it. And some spin downs for you. All right, guess they spun down pretty fast. They are pretty old, which makes sense. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who are uh, unaware, what I have here I call a fan cave. It's a uh, little commercial space I rent. Um, and uh, I've got 
primarily vintage ceiling fans from the 70s and 80s. That's what I collect the most. But, um, you know, I have, uh, I've been into the antique fans, you know, desk fans lately. And, uh, you know, I've got this one up here. You saw my last video. I call that the dancing deal because it was jumping all over the place when I uh, uh, turned it on. And this here is an old, uh, it's an old carriage light. Um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, clear, red, blue. It's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, I have an old, uh, Vornado and an Icy, a Perfex, uh, Freshy, another Westinghouse Hunter. So I've got quite a few of them going on here, and, uh, I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna turn around and sell them or trade them or what, but, uh, for now, I'm just hanging on to them, you know, they're, uh, they're pretty cool, and they don't make them like this anymore, that's for sure, you know, the, the junk they make in China now, uh, just, you know, breaks in five minutes, and the, uh, you know, this, uh, these here were built to withstand the test of time, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny, because my, um, uh, you know, my aunt, um, had an apartment in New York City in Manhattan, and uh, when I was a kid, tell you a funny vintage fan story, she had an old GE table fan. Um, not quite as small as little Westinghouse here, but, uh, you know, it's a, a little relatively small. You know, it's not as big as the Hunter or the uh, Deal. But um, anyway, you know, my first time visiting, you know, staying over there, I made like, you know, I don't know, I was probably seven or eight. I made a beeline right to the fan to, you know, uh, uh, of course, I've always loved fans. And uh, she said, you know, now don't you touch that because it's going to chop your finger off, you know. So I was really careful not to put my hand near it. But uh, <laughs> turns out my grandfather, now my grandfather was president of uh, Northeastern University from 75 to 89. Prior to that, he was a, um, uh, like a dean and a higher up guy there, you know, professor and all that stuff. And uh, <laughs> I guess he used to help himself to all kinds of stuff at the, uh, at the university and uh yeah, I came across a fan that was in his office for X number of years, and I'm not sure if they were throwing it throwing it out or if he just took it, you know, uh, a little extra bonus, a perk of the profession or what, but uh, an old black GE, uh, you know, table fan. He gave it, you know, after, you know, he used it in his office, and then he gave it to my aunt, and my aunt used it for like 35 years, and then uh, the motor finally went, and... Uh, not sure if it was beyond repair or what, but, uh, you know, so she got another fan to replace it. And I said, geez, I kind of wish I would have known that. I would have gladly taken it, uh, broken or not. I would have loved it, but, uh, you know, nice childhood fan, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, you know, um, I just wanted to show you guys my haul. Um, see, I like going, I go up to Todd Farm. It's in Rowley, Mass. Um... It's this huge antique flea market, okay, and you have, uh, I mean, you've got vendors that are probably, I don't know, 50 vendors, 100 vendors, I don't even know, uh, but it's, you know, it's acres of land on this farm, and they're just, uh, yeah, tons of people, um, there are thousands of people show up every day, and uh, every Sunday, it's a Sunday, you know, it's right on 1A in Rowley, um, go through Rowley Center, and uh, uh, to the right-hand side, and, um, it's a cool place. I probably shouldn't be disclosing this because now there's going to be that much more competition for the old fans. But I don't know. I figure I'll share the gift. Uh, better you get them than me. But uh, I, have, I have enough things clogging up my little diminutive amount of space here. But uh, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They have uh, just, you know, a ton of stuff. This is a huge old antique standing fan. It had sort of an accordion look to it. And they said the blades actually broke. It was in the back of their pickup truck. And... Uh, all four blades broke um, while they were driving, and uh, uh, so the blades were kind of crumbled up at the bottom. And you know, they wanted like 80 bucks for it. Then I think, yeah, like you know, a little out of my fan budget. You know, most of these I get a little less than that. But uh, um, you know, I I don't know if they drop the price a bit. You know, if it's under 50, I might at least consider it uh, when I go back next week. But uh, anyway, that's enough. You know, I'm rambling again as I always do. Uh, Thanks a lot for uh, watching. Uh, stay tuned for more fan videos, and please do uh, check out uh, you know my my YouTube page called the Fan Cave, and uh, I also have a Facebook page of the same name. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, thanks for watching. Good night and good luck.